Divine Feminine, hello, okay? You know how we do it here, situation, action, outcome. I'm just hearing that your person is wearing a mask. And, you know, you might have been ghosted or blocked or whatever, but I'm hearing ghosted bigger than anything. But when somebody ghosts you, find the humor in it. Somebody's trying to hide from you, and I think that's so funny because they can't hide. Energetically, especially, you still feel them. No matter what, it's like, I see you. Like, it's almost like somebody, when they ghost you, uh, your person, not just anybody, because people ghost people all the time, you know what I mean? But I'm saying, I'm seeing somebody like, you know, this is your person. You can feel them energetically. Y'all are two bodies, one soul, okay? And when your person ghosts you, you got to find the humor in it. It's like somebody sitting right next to you wearing a sheet. Like, boo. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. I don't know why I'm seeing that. Like, boo, somebody wearing a sheet. So find the humor in it, please, okay? Let's see what's going on with you. Situation, action, outcome. Situation. It's like you you know that your your person is just hiding a little bit because they're nervous. Um, part of the reason why they hide is because they have a lot of things going on. They don't want to bring you into it. But other reasons why they hide is just is just humorous. You gotta find the humor in it. Somebody sitting next to you with a ghost thing on, because you can feel them so much. It's like you can feel their pain. You can feel what they're going through. You might not even know what they're going through. Okay, y'all might not have talked in months. Some of y'all years. And it's just like you still feel whatever they're dealing with, okay? Your situation is unity, okay? This is the Hierophant card. This is the marriage card. What? This is your situation, Archangel Sandalphon, okay? He is the angel of music. He's the tallest angel. He can touch the, the sky, okay? He brings your prayers to God. But it says traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek mentors and like-minded friends. So this does have a lot to do with, like, your, um, you know, with just your religious, how, how y'all are spiritually different right now. Y'all are on different pages. It's a reason why I keep saying the world is waking up because divine masculine is waking up. Going through spiritual psychosis is rough, man. I, I had to go through it partly when I was on my journey with my person and then partly like when we separated, it was like, whoa, you know, like part of it was just, you feel crazy. You just feel so crazy. You feel like, what am I saying? Why am I seeing this? I'm seeing things. I'm seeing these numbers. You're, you get it, but your person doesn't get it. They're still getting that, okay? So remember, they separate journeys because it's separate spiritual things that they have to get through, okay? Walking away. Somebody, I'm just seeing the Eight of Cups. Walking away for spiritual enlightenment. Walking away for spiritual purposes. What's the action? Three of Earth, okay? That is absolutely like um, a power couple, power team. That's also you working, working on yourself, working at work. Focusing on that right now is what Father's saying. That's your action, okay? You know and you feel your person. You know and feel whatever they're going through. But Father's saying, focus on the work in front of you right now. Focus on your projects. Focus on, you know, don't let that slip up because of love, okay? Love is love, is love okay? Yeah. But if Father gave you a purpose, a divine purpose, whether or not you're with your person, you still got mission work to do, okay? So focus on the mission is what I'm hearing, okay? So three of earth, three of pinnacles is what that is, all right? Let's get um, your outcome here. What is the outcome for Divine Feminine, Father? Divine Feminine's outcome. Yeah, because I'm just seeing that you probably have started, like, looking into crystals, stones, chakras, something that's just helping the world, something that's helping the world wake up, okay? You're the leader. You're one of the leaders of this, okay, this awakening. And it's so crazy because I'm just seeing your person is like, they're slowly but surely getting into it. Like meditation, they're getting into, they've probably always been into meditation, but this is different. When they start seeing those angel numbers like all the time, they might even be seeing your birthday. They might be seeing, you know, different things that remind you of them. Like, I mean, you know, they're, they're learning that this connection is bigger than them just ghosting you or finding something else to do with their life or whatever they're doing, you know. Anyways, your um your outcome is the strength card. You might be seeing 1111 Archangel Ariel is here, okay? Strength though, that's that's like a lot of patience is required. It says great inner strength, release harsh judgments, okay? So again, your person might not have had all the spiritual knowledge. Y'all are on different paths right now. They might not have it all together right now. So you just have to understand that you have the strength in this to keep on your journey, on your path on your mission, okay? It says forgiveness and compassion. We've been talking about that forever, look. So your, your divine masculine is being judged right now. They're under judgment. And if they don't wake up and answer the call, because Father, judgment is when they, that horn goes up, okay? I think it's Archangel Gabriel is, is sounding the horn. And those who are dead, they stay. 
and those who want a bigger of life, that happiness. And I feel like you, Divine Feminine, you give them that happiness. You're the light to that. You you light them up. You know, they change because of you in a lot of ways. Not just giving you all the credit, of course, but just, you know, we got to give, give credit where credit is due, okay? So strength card, forgiveness, okay? Being very, very compassionate, being very, very um, patient with your person as well. Bottom of the deck energy is the night of water. That's when your person transforms into thinking logically instead of thinking, you know, so, so much about, you know, this, that, or the third. Basically, your hidden energy is your person's in your energy, and you feel it. You feel the ups and downs, the highs and lows that they're going through. You feel the, the emotional stuff that they're feeling and how logical they're trying to still be about this. But Father is waiting for them to get into their heart, tap into their heart, and plug that up to the intuition. It has to both be connected. You can't just be seeing things, getting these downloads, having these dreams. Your person is dreaming a lot. When I think about the Knight of Cups, I think about the dreamer, the one who's just like, yeah, they have very, very uh, sound judgment, but a lot of their judgment comes from discernment, stuff that you can't really prove, or their emotions, stuff you can't really prove, but you just know, okay? Just like I sit here every day, and I can't prove anything besides giving you the cards, but it's a lot of downloads that I get, and I just know. It's just that inner knowing. Your person's crown chakra is opening up, that inner knowing. It says falling in love or wedding proposals. Oh, this is the Knight of Cups, Lordy. The need to balance emotions and invitation to a social event. So, yeah, your person is absolutely still in the night. <laughs> they haven't reached the king yet, okay? That's amazing. That is amazing still because the Knight of Cups is still wanting to give you that offer, but they just haven't gotten the strength yet. The Knight of Cups is the knight, okay? But they haven't gotten to the kingdom yet. They haven't gotten to their power yet. Okay, really stood up in their emperor-like divine masculine role here. But they're still emotional, okay? All of the stuff that I still said, it still applies. But they're the knight. They're not the king yet. So that still makes sense. They're not mature yet enough spiritually, okay? So they're in, in the emotional state of trying to mature spiritually. Let's see what ancestor card you have for divine feminine today, Father. What's the ancestor card you have for divine feminine? What ancestor is helping them today ruler leadership i told you you're taking the lead okay and you are sitting in your queendom okay you are sitting in your empress mode and your person still is trying to get there okay there are knights then you get to the king then you get to the emperor okay the emperor which was the bottom of the deck energy for the entire reading here and the channel messages the emperor is the one that just you know he embodies all of the king but your person is still working on, on getting to the kingdom, okay? But you, on the other hand, you're being led absolutely um, leadership, the ruler. You absolutely have already, like I said, woken up. You, you've gotten all of this information. You realize that life has no coincidences, and you stand in your power. Let's see what you want to tell uh, your masculine and what they want to say back. What does divine feminine want to tell their masculine father? What do they want to tell their masculine? Knight of Swords, things are happening quickly. And you also want to say Page of Cups. Things are happening quickly and I feel a message is on the way. You feel like somebody's getting ready to speak up. You feel it in your soul. And it's so funny because like I tell y'all, when I scratch my nose and that communication, for me at least, that lets me know that communication is on its way. Page of Cups is that communication coming in, okay? Knight of Swords is their focus. They're determined. Like I said yesterday, they're ready to like, you know, they're ready to take accountability and they want to see how they can fix this, okay? They're ready to fix this. What does Divine Masculine want to say to Divine Feminine here? Divine Masculine, you want to say Three of Swords? I'm finding it hard to be away from you right now, but I know I'm healing. So your Masculine knows that they're on a spiritual journey right now. They know that they need to heal, okay? But they're finding it so hard to be away from you. That's that heartache. That's that longing for you. That's that pain that they feel from doing things in the past that have led them to this place where y'all are in separation they feel guilt over a lot of things that they've said and done and so now they just want to come back in and fix it i'm telling you they just want to come back in and fix it anyways that's what i have for you divine feminine okay let's go to the last video for the last message to get the combined energy for today thank you so much